The city is looking at sprucing up a stretch of a busy Albuquerque street where people don't have a lot of reasons to stop these days. City Council has now been handed a study showing the problems on Manal down by the Big Eye. News 13's Natalie Wattis shows you what the city could do to spur on redevelopment. At night when the sun goes down to walk out, there's just people hanging out out there. Or you don't know and you're, you know, it's just kind of scary. People who work on Manal Boulevard agree. The area has really gone downhill. It's just a bad area. It's a bad homeless problem here. It's kind of just this downward spiral of, of um, illegal activity and safety concerns. A six block drive along the boulevard between I 40 and the North Diversion Channel, west of Carlisle, will bring you views of boarded up buildings, homeless encampments, and signs of depressed industry. It's an area City Council is calling blighted. This is the exact middle of town, right? This is a great prime piece of real estate. And if we can get this area back up and running in a really fast manner, you know, everyone in the city will benefit from that. Former city councilor Diane Gibson got the ball rolling in late 2020 to study this section of the street. Since then, they've held public meetings with local businesses and residents. We're finally at the third step, which is the actual plan for redeveloping that area into something that is, um, you know, more customer friendly, more transit oriented, more business friendly. The more than 60 page metro redevelopment area plan highlights vacant lots and empty buildings where businesses could thrive again. Improvements to roads and streetlights and bus stops and ideas for what to do with empty signs that line the roadway. Businesses I spoke with along this stretch of Manal said they would welcome the revitalization of this area. It's going to work for everybody here. Our uh, neighbors, their business, they're going to get more uh, customers. We're going to get more customers and we're going to uh, get more uh, accent for the customers. I think that would be great. We need more here. You know, there's, this is a really good location. It's just really empty over here. And that's really the, the goal here is to really change the focus of that area back to, uh, you know, a retail destination point. Natalie Wattis, KRQE News 13. The plan will be to introduce to City Council in January. If it's eventually approved, it could mean tax breaks for developers and city funds for a makeover of the area.